So we we'll continue with business objective. So now we need to talk about why the objective might change over time. So he said, why might objective change as businesses evolve? So when we talk about business evolving, it means maybe there's, there are changes within the business. And as a result, it is important for businesses to also adjust their own objectives. So what are the reasons why businesses might have to change their objectives? We know the obje objective of our business, yeah. right? So, the Profit, so yeah. if the business changes, so their objective? Yeah, most of the time when business changes, their objective might have to change. Mm. So what are the reasons why their objective might change over time? The first one here is market conditions. You know, we operate in a dynamic uh, environment, which means things are not always remaining the same. So every now and then there are changes. The economy might be in decline. Today we might have economic boom, like things are fine. Tomorrow you know, we might be at recession. On, at recession. So tomorrow the economic activities might not be, you know, might not be going well. So it's, it's, just, it's going to affect virtually everybody. Do you get the point I'm making here? Nothing remains the same. Yeah. So because nothing so remains the same. So uh, so the objective changes since the has de declined. Yeah. The, let's, for uh, example, we're making an example. No, not profit now. Let's talk about the economy as a whole. Yeah. The economy as a whole. Things might change. Mm. We might have economic decline, downturn. Things are not working as fine as they used to work. Mm. So this means a business, for example, a business that has set its objective to be profit maximization. Based on the fact that there's dynamism, based on the fact that things are not the way they used to be, it might be important for the business to change its objective from profit maximization to, uh, to maybe sustainability. Like, oh, we just want to continue being in existence. So instead of thinking about making profit, you might think about continuing to be in operations. Do you get, it? Do you get my point or not? Maybe. Okay. Profit maximization is an objective, right? Yeah. Good. If there's economic downturn, if things are not working fine, you might have to change your objective as a business. Mm. So instead of you to think about profit maximization, you might think about another object, another business objective. Yeah. Like ensuring that you are still in existence. Mm. Do you understand? So, you know, as a new business, you just want to make sure, as a new business, for a new business. Yeah, so we want to more focus on surviving. Survival, you got the point. That's the point there. Yeah, so, so uh, you want to focus on survive, you know, make sure the... So you change, so you change your objective from profit maximization to survival, mm. based on the situation. So based, based on... Based on the economy is there. Situation, yeah, based, yeah. On, based on the fact that the economy is in decline. So mm. you change... Your, mm. you, change your, you change your objective. That's the first point about market yeah. condition. You Thanks. get it? Because when you continue to think about profit maximization, when the economy is in decline, nobody's going to buy your business, your product or service because nobody has a lot of money. Mm. As a result, you might need to reduce the price of your product by making sure that, oh, if you are not making profit, you're not making a loss. Do you get the point there? Yeah. So that is market conditions. Then the second one is technology. When we talk about technology, there's always advancement in technology. Mm. So the version today, in the next, after tomorrow, after today, the next version will be you know, more advanced than the previous version. Yes or no? Mm. So as a business, you have to be able to make objectives that are in line, that are in line to improve your technology. Do you understand? Your technological using. Because if you are not, if you are not, you know, if you are not at par with your competitors in terms of technology, you might be losing out. Mm. So advancement in technology will make things to become faster and better. Yeah, yes or no? So, yeah, yeah. So basically, if I'm not, um, so basically, if the, I'm not uh, in the technology as much as competitors. If you are not, if your objective, mm. if your objective is not, you know, is not to improve technology, mm. then you'll be losing out because your competitors will be ahead of you. That is the point there. Oh. So if you think about profit maximization and you're not thinking about how to increase your market share. Mm. With advancement in technology, you could do that. Mm. So you start thinking about objectives that would improve your competitiveness. Yes. That is the second point about technology. Mm. I think it's clear. The third one, performance. Performance means how successful the business is. Yes or no? Yeah. So 
Performance is not going to be stable over time. Do you there's, no, there's no permanent champion. There's always a defending champion. Do you understand? So that means you won't win every time. As soon as, as soon as you know that fact, that it's not possible for you to win all the time, you should always make adjustments. You should always be prepared. Yeah, so basically you have to, have to, make, uh, have to make sure quality. You have to set objectives that will enable you, that will enhance your performance when you have a low performance. Mm. Do you get it? So, uh, to understand, low performance is... Uh... Now, for, okay, let's talk about performance. Then. Low yeah. performance can be as a result of your employees not doing well. As, oh. as a result of uh, a, 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 a fall in employees' morale. So the perform ah, get the yeah, point. Performance the is basically uh, if the employees it are, might not, be from the employees. are not doing well. They might not be doing well. Their, their, their morale might have fallen. So you need to set an objective that will boost their morale. Uh, give, them, give them objectives. Maybe increasing their wages. Mm. Do you understand? So yeah, you start thinking is, about... So you, giving bonuses. Bonuses. So you start thinking about... Um, you start thinking about non-profit maximization. Now you start thinking about being socially responsible. Mm. You start thinking about increasing employees' welfare, improving employees' welfare. Yeah. Do you understand? So increase performance. So that it can boost their performance. Yeah. And if it boosts, but it, it increases their productivity. Mm. And if their productivity increases, it reflects in the operations too. Do you get it? So you, as a business, you might, change, you might have to change your objective from profit maximization to improvement in employees' welfare. Yeah. Because there's performance here. The performance of the, uh, the company is low compared to the previous performance. Mm. So as a, what can you do as, as a result of this? There's nothing you could do if you, are, if you are able to find out that the problem comes from employees' uh, loss of morale. Then you can boost what, what, it. Um, just ask me, what is loss of morale? Morale means they, they become demotivated. Oh. Do you get it? Oh, yeah, it makes sense. So if they become demotivated, as a result, it will, it will reflect in the performance of the company. Mm. So what can you do? You need to change your objective yeah. from thinking about expansion, from thinking about growth, to start thinking about implementing employees' welfare. Yeah. Do you get the point here? Increasing the performance. Increasing the performance. Is that point clear? Yeah, increase. Yeah. yeah. Clear, right? The next one is legislation. When we talk about legislation, we're talking about laws, regulations. Mm. These things are external. They are beyond the control of the business. Mm. So it is... It is the responsibility of the business, it is their responsibility to be able to adjust their objective to be in line according with, to, according, to the law. According to the law. Of the society of, according to the law of the society. Mm. If not, they will be sanctioned. Do you get it? What do you mean sanctioned? Sanction means that they will be penalized. 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 Punished. Oh. By government. Oh yeah. You know, when there are laws that you have to obey. So when you're not obeying laws, then you'll be sanctioned. Mm. Do you get it? These yeah. legislations are there. They are there to be followed. Mm. They are there to guide, to guide our operations. So if we're not following them, then we are doing what is against the law. So there's possibility that we're being sanctioned or even closed, closed down. Mm. Do you understand? I understand. So if government talks about employees' welfare, it means you must not cheat your employees. You must... Whenever you are dealing with your employees, your employees should be treated according to what the law says they should be treated on. Do you get it? Mm. So it means you have to adjust your Makes sense. objective. Maybe the government has increased the minimum wage. And for a business, you still think about expansion. You still think, you still think about growth. And government says you should increase the salaries of your employees. Mm. You can't increase your salary and at the same time make profit. So that means you have to adjust. You have to change your objective from Profit maximization to improvement of employees' welfare because of legislation. Mm. Is it clear? Is it clear, please? Yeah. And the last one is internal reasons. I mean, it's, uh, uh, you need to follow the, ro the law. Yes. So it's no one is above it. Yeah, it makes sense. And the last one here is internal reasons. And when we talk about internal reasons, we're talking about reasons within the company. Mm. So, for example, a business might need to change objective if they change the ownership. We are having new owners. So the previous owners might be thinking about employee satisfaction, employee's welfare. 
the new owners might not think about that. They might be thinking about profit maximization. Mm. Do you get it? Yeah. So because there's change in ownership, it is like there's likelihood that there will be change in objective. So these are the reasons why objective might change over time. Mm. One is about market conditions. The second one is technology. The third one is performance of the business. The fourth one is legislation. And the last one is internal reasons. Any question about that? No. So we are done with chapter two. Thank you.